Greetings, everyone. My name is Mix the Freak, and welcome to Haunt the House by the Super Flash Earth for Armory Games. So, um, Haunt the House is about playing as a ghost who haunts a house full of people. So, the goal is to scare all the people out of the house so you can live in it. Cliché, but, well, that's how the game goes. I can't explain how the gameplay is fun, so I'll just show you how the game goes. Mm -hmm. The Super Flashables present an Armor Games production. Art by Adam Vien and coding by Tom Vien. Music by Shadow Six Nothing Nine and Kevin McLeod. Testing by these guys and special thanks to Dan McNeely. So we begin at the stroke of midnight. Tonight will be the night of haunting. Move with the arrow keys. Your ghost can possess objects with its soul. Flow over to the chest and press space to possess. Flow over to here. Use the arrow keys to perform a spooky action. Spooky. <laughs> nice skeleton. Different objects may ha have many different spooky animations or actions. <laughs> Press space to return to your ghost form. Level up your atmosphere by scaring people out of the house. Currently, the atmosphere is relaxed and the object that was possessing is a chest. Sorry if my avatar was blocking the object. I can't fix it, so. But I'm pretty sure it's not significant, so. Yeah. More atmosphere means unlocking more powerful hauntings. The aim is to scare all 3D party goers out of the house. The front door is in the lower right corner of the house. Don't panic them too much or they might do something stupid. Midnight approaches. Time to reclaim your once peaceful home. And so this is where we live. In the attic. This is the third floor. This is the second floor. This is the first floor. This is the ground floor and this is the basement. Nice! So this is midnight. So why is everything turned on though? Shouldn't you guys be asleep? My goodness. And also, this must be the bathroom. I have a question though. Why is everyone in the bathroom? Where's the toilet? Oh my goodness. So, um, I'm going to start by possessing an object in a high, in a highly populated room. This must be the dining room, so I'm going to do this to level up my atmosphere. And I'm scaring people already. Nice! That's a good bit of stuff, and I've also upgraded myself to quiet. That's nice. Ooh. And this is a totem pole. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Am I a gingerbread man? <laughs> I'm a cute gingerbread man. Watch me wave my arms. And so I've scared, um, two people out of the house. Three people out of the house. That's nice, that's nice. Scaring people on the ground floor will make them immediately go out through the door, so... That's, that's cool to know. That's cool to know. Let's level up our, um, atmosphere a bit. And now it's uneasy, which is pretty good. So we will unlock the plates. Now we have this here. And now the atmosphere is strange. I can now share a place which is pretty good. Not on the clock. I'm a chandelier. Oh my here. You know this this painting is 
quite cool. It reminds me of um, an online web series about an annoying orange. <laughs> they even giggle to themselves. <laughs> nice! I'm a monk, and there's blood inside. <laughs> I'm gonna drop blood in you. I'm a little teapot, sure and stout. Here is my handle, and here is my stout. <laughs> Bunch of flowers, sweet. All these monks seem to be the same thing. I'm a spooky chair. I'm gonna bite you. Bite. <laughs> now the atmosphere is creepy, which is pretty good. I keep on saying it's pretty good. Everything is pretty good, so we can swing the cage or we can rattle it. That's nice. And now we'll just become the bathtub. Oh, we can also become the cabinet. And there's a snake inside. <laughs> I'm a spooky, scary snake. Boo. <laughs> I wonder what's inside a bathtub. <laughs> you cover monster! I'm the sweetie to come the monster. <laughs> I'm the cucumber monster. I'm gonna come for your cucumbers. And for the final spook, we can be, um... Bird! <laughs> oh no, oh no, he's, he's super scared. I don't want him to... So, uh, when, when they start opening their mouths like these, that's bad. That's really bad. They will jump out of the windows if, if they are in the stage. So try not to get them into the stage. <gasps> oh dear. He was supposed to jump out over here, but he jumped through here, so... That sucks, that sucks. We accidentally have one down, sadly. And now the atmosphere is sinister, that's pretty good. And now it's terrifying. Nice. <gasps> nice! Just imagine a plate. Do you want the plates to shatter or do you want hands to break out of it? That's pretty spooky. Fire. Shake, shake. I wonder if I can spam this lightning bolt. <laughs> now the atmosphere is full right now. This will definitely get everyone out of the house. Nice. I don't you want to build a bit of music? That's a clarinet player. Hey. Ba ba <laughs> I like the music though. It's really good. How about more ba? came out. Oh no. This is a bowl of <laughs> a bottle of hands. Come here, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna f I'm gonna grab your leg. I'm gonna grab your leg. Oh my god. Cucumber monster. <laughs> I'm a scary book show. I'm a globe with a spooky monster. Cucumber monster. It's 
snake. Now get the get the heck out. Oh, the exhaust is full of blood. <laughs> Spooky. Lightning. I like how the urn just has some Mr. Krabs inside. That's a lobster core. <laughs> so there's two more people in the house. I wonder where the last people are. That's this kid over here, so let's get him out with this kid. Why is he coming into the attic? Go goodness me. Now let's see him get this guy out of the house. Ooh. I like how this house has a lot of hands. That's funny. How about a um, burning house? A tree. Oh my god. Was that a bomb? Oh my goodness, no. So that's all the people I scared out. I only counted one death, which is Kinda sucks, I didn't want to kill that last person. Two people died?! Oh my goodness, no! Hey, at least I got an A rank. That's pretty good. So if you didn't let anyone die, it would have an S rank. Which is the best rank you could get. But it's, it takes a long time to get, so... Yeah. And I was also trying to rush in the game, so... Hmm. This was Haunt the House. We scared all the people outside and also killed some people. Oh dear. We made them jump out of the window. But, at least we have some new neighbors now. That's nice. I just hope they don't haunt us for all eternity. So, um, what made Haunt the House nostalgic for, for me was because of how silly the scares were. I really enjoyed watching those um, scares happen. And it was also quite fun to see the bar go up. It was like an upgrade game. And it was fun. That's what made it so nostalgic for me. I'm pretty sure you guys would have probably played it on Armor Games, but it was also on Congregate's Newgrounds and White too, so... Yeah. Anyways, I've come to the end of my Haunt the House gameplay. Hmm. If you like this video, like it. And if you want to watch more of my um flash flash game gameplays, subscribe. I'm done with Haunt the House and well, Haunt the House also has a sequel called. Haunt the House Terror Town. That one was released onto Steam. So yeah. But what made Haunt the House special was because it, the game was a short playthrough and it was also quite fun to experiment with what to scare people with and whatnot. So it was quite fun. The sequel, the sequel was definitely different and much bigger, but but um, Honda House still has a place in my heart. As um, as the original game. That's that attracted me. I'm, I'll 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 be done rambling. So that's it, guys. See ya, and bye bye. Mm-hmm.